today I'm gonna show you uh, some uh, very important uh, hints for the Gerson uh, CX20. First of all, motor unlock and motor lock. Uh, we can we connect the battery. Okay. Then uh, uh, we open the remote and uh, wait to the uh, GPS to be in contact with the Gerson. The red light indicate the motor's working or not working position. To unlock the to unlock the motor, you have to put your uh, throttle stick. You see my hand here to the right bottom continuously until the red light will be stable continuously now it is stable this means that uh, the motor is working just to show you you see it's still working the motor because i'm uh, inside home uh, i can't uh, fly this uh, big uh, uh, quad look the motors is working you see it is working and it's difficult to to have a, a gps on the if you if you put the stick on the uh, the throat stick on the left continuously then the motor is locked to unlock to the right continuously until the red uh, light to be stable now it's working you see to lock it on the other position until the red light to be flashing now it's not working you see this is uh, an important uh, uh, information because a lot of people they are asking how how to work the i can i can have i can uh, run my motors it is i, I can um, uh, block it and uh, send a lot of emails asking this uh, how to do it this uh, I have now the opportunity to show you uh, the basic uh, transmitter mode settings of the SX20. For example, uh, in manual in manual mode, you have to put both switches over there in the zero position. Here in the zero position, you see it in zero position is in manual mode. Then, if you uh, have, uh, if you like to have the stable mode, you have to put uh, this switch in the position one. Now, with the blue light, you see, is in stable uh, mode. Uh, if you like to to have a flight direction locked mode, you have to put both switches. Level one, level one, level one. Now, in this position, uh, we have flight direction locked mode. Now, if you like to have altitude sensor mode, you have to put this switch in the one position and that switch in the two position. You see, it is green over there. Now, in this position, with the left switch one and the right switch in the two in the two position you have flight flight direction locked mode uh, uh, sorry altitude sensor mode altitude sensor mode is uh, to control the altitude two one one switch two altitude control mode now how uh, to put one key to return home mode uh, to have the one key to return home it is uh, the right switch in the position two and the left uh, switch in the position zero zero position two position now it is 
in uh, the way to go home. Uh, I think all those information are very important to fly this very nice quad. Uh, I have made uh, other changes as well. I, I can show you. Uh, first of all, let's disconnect the battery. Uh, here you can see my uh, Mobius camera. I'm using the Mobius camera with the inside in the in the box in the kit. There are those two holders to mount my Mobius camera. Uh, uh, Thank you very much for, watch, for watching this uh, video with me. Uh, from this video, we'll follow a short flight outside uh, in the evening to see how ve uh, very nice looking uh, the LED lights that it is uh, decorated in this uh, quads. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Ναι, 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 το είδα καλά τώρα. Το δεσκόστα! Τώρα το Αυτό σημαίνει ότι...